hey guys welcome back stick with me in this video to the end to see the cutting sewing and the finishing of this lovely trendy sleeves if this is your first time please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and come back for more don't skip this video watch it to the end to get tips and tricks on how to achieve this sleeve so guys this is the fabric i'm going to be using this is my lining and this is my fabric for the main fabric i went i used the soft stay on it and for the lining i used hard stay on it i don't like usually using um hard stay on, on the main fabric it is not advised that you use hard stay for your main fabric always use soft stay on your main fabric and then hard stay for your lining or interfacing so i'm going to be cutting this on fold i'll be cutting the main fabric before i go ahead to cut my interfacing so the lens that i'll be working with is um 13 inches i'm working with 13 inches plus one inch seam allowance that's 14 inches so i'll just mark here so the purpose for the remaining space up is because of the puff so i'm going to be adding a dramatic puff to my sleeve so i'll just go ahead and mark my five inches i'll just go ahead and um, mark my take my measurements for my normal sleeve first of all so i'll be taking my armhole measurements and then i'm going to connect this to that so next thing i'm working on the extra puff i'm going to give it so i have some um like seven or six inches here so it depends on how much puffs you want so i'm going to be going up by six inches the more puff you want the want the more you want your sleeve to be full and, and puffy the more you're going to add to this or if you don't want it to be so puffy you can go up by four inches four inches is okay so i'll just curve and connect it to my arm hole so you can see what i did there so this is the new arm hole we have so i'll just go ahead and add extra inches to this so i'm adding five inches extra to exaggerate our sleeve so what uh, whatever i have there i took the measurement and um took the i took the measurement at the hemline so at this point i'm going to be going up by two inches to give it a little curve so i'll just go ahead and cut this out So next i'm going to take the i'm going to take the one that i just cut out and place it on top my interfacing and then cut it out also So we are going to notch this part where we added extra five inches from sorry extra six inches from so from that we are going to gather this from that point we notched to the starting point so we are going to make ruffles or we are going to make pleats on it so i'm going to be taking this to the sewing machine now i'm going to be sewing showing you every step of the sewing of this sleeve so first i'll be pleating my the puff i'll be making the puffs now so from that point we notched all from one end to the other that is where i'm going to be painting on so that is what i'm doing right now so just take your time to give it nice splits you can either plate it or you can ruffle it you can do gathers on it so the same thing i'm also going to do to the interfacing 
so after that is done the next thing i will take my crinoline and i'll be measuring the sleeve from this point to the end the hem i have 27 inches so i'm going to be measuring out 27 inches of crinoline now a trick about crinoline is that you don't draw it when you're working with crinoline be careful not to draw it because it's it's elastic it draws so be careful not to stretch it while you're sewing so i'll be taking 27 which i marked which i got from my sleeve so i just added extra one or two inches on it in case it draws so it shouldn't be less than what i measured so i cut it out so i'm going to be sewing another one on top of it i'm going to be doubling my clean line like this so just place two just place another one on top of it and sew it together so why sewing also be careful not to draw as you're sewing push it push it towards the your, your uh, needle as you're sewing don't draw it if you draw it the curing line is going to it's, it's not going to have um, as much effect as it's supposed to have so you want you want to push it when you're sewing just like as i'm doing right now So as you can see i have doubled my crinoline it is now longer I'm, I'm not that is not the end i'm still going to go again with another step of crinoline i'm still going to add another step of crinoline to this so i'll just go ahead to place it on top and then sew again so if you want if you want to achieve a fuller of um a fuller volume this is what you do you double your crinoline you can place two crinolines directly on top of each other to achieve more volume so that is it so the three steps is okay if we do more than this it's going to be longer than our sleeve so at this point now i'm going to turn uh, i'm going to take this and place it on the interfacing then then we'll use the interfacing to turn the main fabric so i'm placing the crinoline here with the front facing each other so i'm just going to sew a straight line on it So you can see i'm i'm sewing on the cranial line too I'm using i'm using half an inch to sew so after i've done that the next thing i'm going to go ahead to iron this and i made a video on how to properly fix cranial line i'm going to place the link on the description box if you're fixing cranial line on your flare with peplum flounce whatever there is a way to properly fix it and achieve that standing effect so this is what i'm going to do now you take your hemming gum and then you fix it inside your dress for this for this particular sleeve i'm going to fix it this way but for for a peplum or flare or, fla or flounce the method of of fixing crinoline is kind of different because that's a um, peplum but this is how we're going to be doing it use, use a hem hemming gum fix it inside and then iron so that it will be firm and it will lock properly and then it will be firm and hard so i'll place the link on the description box to uh, for you guys to see how to fix crinoline properly and achieve your desired results so i'm just adding some water now i'm just i'm going to iron it by the time i'm done you're going to see how firm it looks like it is already firm without this but when you do this your cream line is going to be firmer and the finished look is going to be very lovely it's not going to shift it's just going to be hard and strong so you can see you can see how it looks although it's still a little bit wet because of the water but you can see how firm it already looks so i'm done with that i'm just going to close my sleeve up i'll go ahead and close my sleeve up and 
then show you guys the final results so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like this video if you do comment down below let me know what you think and share this video guys if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the subscribe button if you're new on this channel and come back for more next time so guys thank you and see you on the next one